Oh, good day, everyone. Well, here we are in the city. Look at that in the city. Um, this is something we don't normally do, but we're in the city on Langley Park, uh, loading out for a concert that's just been uh, was well, just finished, and uh, we're going to be loading out of that and taking all this stuff back to Sydney. Now, I know the last video, the um, the footage was not so good, was it? Uh, <laughs> the dash cam facing a bit down to the. Uh, the bonnet so we're going to fix that up and show you all the way to Sydney now where we're delivering Sydney is going to be around um, uh, we're right by the water's edge anyway so we're going to get some um, some uh, drone shots and stuff like that and hopefully some more drone shots um, as my as I drive along I haven't got the drone out for a long time so it's coming out and uh, we're gonna have to get back into the drone shots because uh, well, people love it anyway all right let's uh, start loading it because as you can see, I don't know if you can see it is raining and um, I'm getting wet, so we got to hurry up and get loaded. Well, we are uh, connected up, we're in the hookup area, and uh, all is good. Uh, there's the load I just loaded uh, to this morning, and passing the load that I just loaded yesterday. Gee, it was a bit of a snotty load, but anyway, <coughs> we are ready to go. So let's jump in, and uh, maybe we'll pop around to the BP and get some food, and then um, that's it. We will head off and see what we see.
not a river. It's the edge of the road. Look at that. Quite a bit of rain lately around the uh, Southern Cross area. Oh, this is getting close to Bullfinch. Look at that. It is uh, flooding. Bit of flooding over there. And the paddocks, well, a bit hard to see through, but uh, the paddocks are... Yeah, I don't think they need any more rain. All right, let's continue on to Southern Cross. Oh, hey, did you know that most people watching this are not subscribed? Well, so if you like the content that you see and uh, you want to see more, maybe consider subscribing. All right, let's get back to it. Well, here we are at Muckenbudham, a beautiful small country town on the way to Southern Cross. And uh, I thought I'd stop here for a bit of a break and show you around. Monday, another week I can't believe. I'm counting down the minutes till it's Tuesday. Another day back on my feet. I'm fighting every minute till the weekend. So I can live it up and do it all again and again. It's getting a bit later in the day. We are at the BP Southern Cross and we're going to get a couple of things here. They've got some salad, um, these salad bowls that I always like to get because I've got to get some healthy food in me. So let's go and have a look. Right, here they are here. We've got a couple here. We've got uh, the mixed meat. This is the ones that I usually go for. Now they're pretty healthy. Now they are getting on the, on the uh, pricey side at nearly $11, but you can't go wrong with this. Okay, now we're right. Got a couple of these, so um, let's head off. Well, it's um, 10.30 Melbourne time and uh, I've pulled up at Coolcardi. I think that'll do for today. Um, that's a reasonable effort. You know, we did load today. We connected up, got all this uh, way and um, did a few bits of footage along the way. So, yep, yeah, I think this will do. All right, um, I will see you in the morning and um, we'll see what kind of adventures we get tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. It is time for breakfast, and uh, my choice is uh, weed picks. So I have um, four of those weed picks. Uh, I'm not really into cooking. I do drive long hours, so um, at the end of the day, all I want to do is pull up and uh, go to sleep. So you will find me buying a lot of food. Um, yes, I understand. Also, people could um, bring their own breakfast. Oh, sorry, bring their own meals, and you know, have a freezer and stuff like that. I still don't do that either. I'll um, 
I'll just grab Subway or Hungry Jacks and stuff like that. So, anyway, let's um, have some breakfast, continue on. I've got to get some fuel down the road at Rigi Milta and um, continue in the day. You just move. getting some fuel at IOR, place where you should go to, uh, Rigi Milta, and um, it's a nice little place this, it's uh, just a roadhouse basically on the edge of the highway, the Kulkadi to Norseman Highway, and um, they got a little museum and stuff like that, so uh, if you pass by, probably check it out, and uh, they do a good meal too. Right, y'all. Well, we're at Balladonia, and it's a bit of a side story. We're going to be checking out the Coke prices and chocolate. You know, as you saw from um, uh, Norseman, it was uh, pretty high. So we're at Balladonia, and we're going to go in and have a look at those prices. All right. So I wasn't written, but the can of the bottle of uh, Coke was seven fifty from here. So I'm um, thinking we could probably get a bit cheaper, maybe in Nullarbor, which is in the middle of nowhere, it might be the cheapest, but anyway, we'll go and have a look. And I tell you what, man, this rain has got to stop, it is all the way, I did wash the truck before I left, and um, it's a mess, absolute mess, so um, it's no good, it always happens, if you want the rain to come, wash your truck and it'll, it'll pour. Well, here we are at Kaguna. We check out the prices here too. And of course, this has been raining. It is an absolute mud pit here. They have fixed up some of the um, potholes, but because of the, uh, all the rain, I'm sure these potholes will come back shortly. 
Okay, so they don't have the co the price of Coke on uh, the price list, but there's a six dollars for six two mil, which is the best price so far. And these ones are six dollars. <laughs> We're at Majura and I've just had tea, bangers and mash, oh, they, you can't go wrong, I love them. They are the best bangers and mash probably around. Uh, anyway, uh, when, with regards to Coke, Coke is only $6.60 here. So we're getting cheaper the further we go out. Mm, anyway, um, I look forward to seeing what it is at the WA border and uh, also uh, Nullarbor. So we're actually getting cheaper. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, Norseman, maybe look at that. Well, it's the end of another day and, um, well, tell you what, we're going slow because I'm doing a lot of extra stops uh, with these extra stories and drone work and stuff like that. I hope you're liking the drone work. Uh, yeah, I haven't used the drone since last year, but, um, yeah, I'll get back in the swing of things and stuff. All right, it is, um, is that time of night for a sleep and um, we'll see you in the morning.
we're here at Snullabor and we'll check out what the, uh, the prices of uh, drinks and chips and lollies are here. It's, uh, at least it's fined up a bit. I tell you what, the amount of rain is uh, really annoying. My truck's a wreck now, but anyway, we will continue on and see what we see. Well, look at those prices. As I, as I imagined, I, I, I don't know why, I just knew that it was going to be cheaper at the Nullarbor Roadhouse. Oh, anyway, uh, and the other bonus is, um, got a good coffee. So they give uh, free coffee to truckies. So, uh, got our coffee, got the prices, and um, let's hit the road. Well look at this, this is what happens sometimes. I've uh, put a new plug on this and I thought, oh, that might be the problem. Yes, okay. Um, it is still shorting out. So, if you have a look at back here, basically I have um, uh, felt the wiring. This is the wiring here. I felt the wiring all over and I've noticed that it was hot in this part. So, uh, I've discovered here, as you can see, you can see the burnt wiring. So, um, oh, there you go. You can see it's straight through there. So, anyway, that was it. I um, just a quick fix. I just cut the wire um, and I'll just tape that up. I mean, that's just going to be useless anyway. So, when it comes to wiring and stuff like that, if you ever get lights that stop working, the idea is to troubleshoot. By troubleshooting, first thing is would be to disconnect the dolly. This this is the uh, the jumper that goes from the dolly to the trailer. So I disconnected that, but that didn't work either. So that's where you got to basically troubleshoot. There are clearance lights here, and then you'll see little wires there. So you've got to basically feel them all. These were cold, and because they were cold, keep feeling around. If you feel something warm, then keep going until you, well, you'll find it anyway in the end, which we did. And it is nearly uh, dinner time, it is uh, nearly 8 o'clock. So we are at Port Augusta, as you can see there, Port Augusta BP. Gonna go inside and have a well-deserved meal after I just pack this away. All right, the lights are working. That is exactly what we want to see. All the lights are working. And I'll tell you what, on a side note, it is really, uh, 
it's really quite uh, um, rewarding, you know, to fix stuff, you know, not, not to just, I mean, I could have just sat here and said, oh, look, just getting an auto electrician out here and I would have wasted a night and, um, you know, yeah, I would have lost money. So it is far better, for me anyway, to uh, diagnose the problem um, or, or I guess uh, troubleshoot first, diagnose the problem, fix it, and uh, because I do carry a lot of spare parts so I can fix the things myself and then just get back on the road. Yes. All right. I've had dinner. I've got to wash up and um, we'll get back on the road ourselves. Here we are, Wagga. Yes, we made it. So, of course, we're going to make it. Um, so, they want the back trailer first. So, we're going to drop the back trailer and then park up the uh, the lead and dolly. And uh, yeah, everything sort of looks good, good, good. As everything it has been going good. So, we'll drop uh, this now and um, let's uh, head on to Sydney.
Well, we made it here. We are in Sydney, and uh, as you can see, we are pretty close to the water. I'm just zooming back there, and um, yeah, it's beautiful. If you stay tuned after this, I have um, got a few nighttime shots of this area. It's uh, not much, but anyway, uh, we'll uh, get this load off and um, go and get reloaded and head back to Denny, I guess. Oh.